Okay, so I think I messed up. Tree Bay Campground um, is quite a basic place. It's beautiful, spot on, and in nature. But as far as facilities go, all, all you have is a long drop toilet, um, a communal barbecue, gas barbecue, and an information shack. That's it. up damn I'm having breakfast next to my car minding my own business camera locked in the car and three meters from me totally unexpected a dingo appears so it's there three meters from my breakfast table basically and I'm like damn I don't I mean where's my camera so I had my phone on me and I'm excited and I pick it up and I walk after it behind it thinking that I'm filming but in fact all I did was take a picture Dingo stops and starts howling and I thought I had it close up on my camera I mean on my phone that is and unfortunately I didn't sorry guys anyway um, it must be around here somewhere who knows we might bump into it again
What an amazing place. They weren't lying in the information page of national parks. It really is a beautiful rainforest. And it's very exciting when you consider that I'm sharing this place with um, Australia's apex predator, the dingo. Who knows, maybe one will pop out of the bush. Wow, what a place. It's a dark forest. It's like a rainforest, but it's dark and quiet. Although they look like domestic dogs, dingoes have a different body structure and brain. Some people will keep them as pets in Australia, but in most cases they are untrainable and cannot communicate with humans like domestic dogs do. In the wild, they have been known to attack humans in specific circumstances, mainly when they are in a pack, hungry or threatened, and in the presence of a human they consider weak, so they are potentially dangerous and should be treated as such. I will see another amazing animal later in this trip, so stick around. I'm waiting uh, at the ferry, Bomba Point Ferry, to cross to the other side of the park. So the side of the park I'm in has a lot of tarred roads and on the other side is wilder and has unsealed tracks which obviously is something I'm very keen to explore. So I'm just waiting for the ferry to arrive and then we'll hit the wilder side of the park. Kangaroos are amazing, but this is not the animal I promised you earlier. So I just came by a sign that indicates that New South Wales tallest tree is just around the corner. So I've just taken the side road off the main road to go and see New South Wales tallest tree, which is called the Grandis, unsurprisingly. this most amazing uh, gravel road it's so beautiful and with the Sun and the light today it's just amazing I'm enjoying it uh, deeply uh, maybe I missed the tree who knows but I don't care because uh, this drive is awesome what a surprise you know something about unexpected roadblocks that can be quite dangerous well uh, check what I found on uh, on the road basically This cow is acting proper crazy and dangerous because she's crossed the road a few times right in front of my vehicle. So I don't dare pass her because I'm not quite sure what she'll do. And it's a bit ridiculous to be honest. All right, move over. Thank you. Okay, I can see it. Whoa, that's a massive tree. I get it. Yep, I've never seen a tree as big and as tall as this in New South Wales, 100%. Guys, check this out. Ooh. Yep, this tree is massive. It's massive. It's just unbelievably big. I've never seen such a big tree 
here in New South Wales or in fact anywhere else for that matter. It's just amazing. So the stats on it are it's 400 years old and it's 76 meters high. Well I'm so happy I've uh, stopped and found this tree and followed that sign. It's amazing the whole experience so the drive, the road leading to this tree and after it that huge tree, the rainforest and also the bird sounds. I don't know if you can hear, I'm just going to keep quiet. Just listen to the bird sounds. It's just, it's just amazing. It's, uh, wow, strongly recommended. at uh, Violet Hill campground it's really nice it's manicured you'll see huge lawns is an access to the water um, the usual basic uh, amenities it smells of cut grass actually it's, it's really nice um, so check out uh, Violet Hill uh, campground this said I've changed my mind and on the way to Violet Hill campground I bumped into another little campground which I prefer for myself because it's smaller, it's more secluded. I don't remember the name, but that's where I'll be spending the night. I think he's, he's keen to get out. Either jungle or diamond. Wow, amazing. You found it on the road. I just fucking tried nearly ran over. <laughs> yeah, they like to heat up on the road, hey? Hey, poor girl. Amazing. She's so lucky, I nearly hit her. Wow, that's amazing. Are you local? No, I'm just from down the Hunter Valley. <laughs> okay. We just came up the last couple of days. Good? Yeah, I'm good. I'll, I'll be filming her, making her great escape. That's all right. I've reached a dark point Aboriginal area. It's quite a large area. I'm on a sand dune over here. I understand there are outcrops, rocky outcrops out there. I can understand why this place has significance as this sand dune took quite a bit of climbing to get on top of. So it is a higher area. You have views of 
the ocean over there and the islands over there and you can also see the whole park at the back of this camera um, Aboriginal people, the local Warumi people have been coming here for 4,000 years for significant events but also apparently um, certain type of fish used to migrate along this coast and arrive at this location around May, June every year and the Warumi people knew that and they came fishing for these species of fish and for the rest also about 17,000 years ago during the last ice age when there was less water in the ocean the islands behind me could be reached on foot so they could be accessed on foot because the, water, the sea level was lower so that's quite interesting as well Wow, this trip is probably my favorite short trip out of Sydney ever what started out as an unambitious two-night escape conveniently close to home with really no plans or intentions to see anything special has just turned into a treasure chest the animal encounters I've had the flora I have seen the amazing spots I have camped at just, just make this place unbelievable <laughs>